What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Sassy, and you're watching Sassy and Cute Channel. Today, we're getting into like the affirmations and how I start my morning. Um, I'm sort of a night owl, so you know, in between three and four, are the spiritual hours, of course. So the line is thin to where we are able to receive like direct messages in a way. A lot of spiritual um, things are happening around that time in between three and four, but. In this video, I'm basically going to be showing you how I do my affirmations, just kind of having a pump it up day and getting yourself ready for the day and being prepared and knowing any, that anything can come your way and that you're just going to have to overcome that. Um, I'm going to start by lighting my candle. Um, I normally light a white candle because um, white is connected to our like the have divine God, divine world realm. Um, heaven guidance and love protection but depending on the color um also your chakra is very important because very important because of course blue is my throat chakra i'm going to be speaking and kind of using my voice and being able to uh reach others in a way so i'm going to light this candle do not try this at home unless you are 18 or older or with parents permission I don't know what that was. All right, so I have my candle lit while we are in practice as far as to um, this video. Let's go ahead and get started. What's up, YouTube? My name is Sassany, and this is Sassany Cute Channel. All right, so when I first wake up in the morning, right off the bat and this is right before the sun's coming up i think the universe i think the creator as soon as i open my eyes i'm like i'm thinking the universe i'm thinking the creator I'm thinking jesus like what can i learn today thank you for another chance and another opportunity to move forward in life and to keep going just to try another day because life is a blessing right life is a blessing and every day i do my affirmations but today I kind of want to get in the routine of if you want to be a business person, if you want to start basically just being productive, if you want to stop um, staying up so late, sleeping in, um, you want to be productive with your day, you want to be productive with your time, have more energy and time. We got to beat uh, what's killing us, like, you know, the working overtime, the, you know, chasing money, the the need, the wants, basically, I want us to be able to fit everything in our schedule and have enough time to be productive. So, getting started, I have some books that I'm studying, and you can easily go to Five Below. Like, I've gotten a lot of these books from Five Below. I'm studying the moon here, so I would open one of these books. So, yeah, I've gotten these books from Five Below, and like I said, in the morning, I try, I go and I read a few pages within the books or a chapter or however I want to disperse that. They say it's the little things that matter that makes a big difference, right? Well, I have here, I was at Dollar Tree shopping and I have these prayer cards. Now, they're like, they're about 20 scripture cards and they include like the book of Psalms, just little script for, you know, even if you're not reading the Bible or you just want to wake up, leave these in your car, leave these next to your bed, next to your pillow or on your nightstand or you can even leave them around the house. Like, I'll make another video for you guys. But I I have these cards and sticky notes and affirmations stuck around my house in different places for me to remind my inner myself, my conscious, like, hey, this is it. So what I do is I open this, and there's days where I'm like, when I'm struggling, I I read through all of them, um, or I open up the to the book of Psalms of what I'm actually needing to read. Or like, you know, forgiveness or anything. I open up to the book of Psalms of that. And I read that and say that prayer. And pray to our creator. But these right here, I usually take them out in the morning. And I just shuffle through them. I shuffle through them. And whenever I feel like my intuition is stumbling upon something that I need to know, I need to hear. Then I choose one. this one here the lord is my strength and my shield in him my heart trusts 
Psalm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield and him my heart trusts. Basically, in my heart, this is telling me to have faith. Like, have faith and I know that our creator can help me and guide me in the right direction. Because we need our creator, but he doesn't need us. So, let's get it. So then as I'm shuffling through again, I usually pick three, car three cards. Three, three, three scriptures. Okay. Another one. In everything, give thanks. Okay. I'm also on this because I'm feeling, I'm also feeling very grateful. And to me, when I think of just giving thanks, it's being grateful, being thankful for being alive. And like I said, that's that affirmation in the morning where I'm like, okay, good morning. Great morning. Thank you. Thanks for the universe. You know, thank you so much. You know, what can I learn today? And I ask my angels to help me and guide me along my day, along my path. One more. All right. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. Basically telling me, go in the direction of the Lord. Don't go in the direction of uh, my ego. You know, understand and trust and believe. So right here with these two right here, these both are stating, telling me the same thing. Trust in the Lord, basically, my strength, my shield, and him my heart trust. With all your heart, trust in the Lord. Do not lean on or understand on your own understanding. Just keep your mind open to things and just life itself. And you can even open the Bible and uh, like flip through the pages or like open the Bible and or book of Psalms and just land on a page and that Whatever um, scripture resonates with you, that's what you can also read. But like I said, I got these from Dollar Tree for a dollar, okay? A dollar. And it doesn't even have to cost to, you can even, I don't know, run through a, a, a Bible or the book of Psalms on, uh, or whatever book resonates with you on uh, Google. It doesn't even have to cost, but like I said, a dollar. A dollar twenty-five, thirty-five with tax. All right. Next, I usually do my tarot reading. So... I can know where my guidance is for the day. So I'm going to pull these out. This, um, everything I do is based off of like personal experience that I have experienced. And everything I'm doing has also helped me and build me towards, built me towards success. I built myself by using, um, hints and, uh, different hints and tips in life. Like, um, I'm starting to use oils and learning that certain oils and stuff, just like citrus helps you with, um, healing and stuff. So I'm going to do a tarot reading. I also got these from five below, um, which, and I can show you how to put your own energy on your own cards in another video. But what I do is I shuffle these and shuffle them. If any fly out, then I go ahead and flip them over. Simple. Normally, I, I ask my angels a question like, hey, am I on the right path? We did have one fall. Am I on the right path? When it comes to making decisions in my life. Okay. And it's usually uh, a daily one. It'll do your past, present, and future. Um, sometimes they will all tie together. So kind of make sure I'm on it. All right. So what I pulled here was my three cards. So I have the Six of Pentacles. I have the Six of Pentacles, um, which is basically uh, money being given to me, raise of money, raising money or salary. So money basically will be coming my way. Um, the Empress, the three of Empress, um, it's a feminine energy. She's sitting in her throne. She's happy. Delays will improve necessary. Then we have the four of cups, money fluctu fluctuations being offered, something you may not want. Me, yes. So maybe there could be something that's coming my way that I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to improve, but there's always going to be challenges and obstacles on the way for me. Um, 
maybe it could be something that I might receive that could be good for someone else that might need uh, just as much uh, whatever I have that I don't need. So this is my morning. And like I said, I'm explaining this now, but it takes no more than 30 minutes a day just meditating and reading just in the morning, just getting ready. All right. Last but not least, I also do this besides my yoga or stretching. I take cards or index cards and I replace my old ones with new ones just so I'm not because, you know, it's like when you put a screensaver on your phone and you're like, oh, my screensaver, or that's cute, or I like that. But then you start to ignore your screensaver after, I would say, two or three weeks, right? Because obviously, you, you know, you're so used to seeing that. Now, usually, okay, so you would go and change up your screensaver to something else. Just same thing with affirmations, like what I post on my fridge, or on my mirror, or, you know, in my bedroom. What you're going to have to do is or place, place your affirmations every two weeks or so. But what I do is I go ahead and write on these. I write my affirmations. Um, I pick different colors. One could, green could be my money ones. Um, my pink ones could be for like uh, love itself. My yellow could be like my um, happiness with my inner peace. Um, just basically use whatever colors you want. For those of you that don't know what affirmations are, Affirmations are one, positive, it's present, present moment, and it's personal. So it's about you. You can't make affirmations about someone else, but you can pray for others. So your affirmations are basically stating who you are, you know, what you have going on and what you want to uh, manifest. And also you um, manifest. So when as you're writing you want to think about what exactly that you want in life. So we're going to write an affirmation resonating with every chakra to get that balance. So let's start off with our root chakra. I am grounded and balanced. I am grounded and balanced, okay? Next, we're gonna do our, our sacral chakra. And that's our creative chakra. So when we're thinking of our creativity, uh, this is towards passions, um, artistic passions, anything that you're artistic about, um, just being able to think and being creative. So, and I am into music, so I can, because I play the piano, because I play the piano. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so next we have the solar plexus. The solar plexus is your yellow, the self-expression. Um, expressing yourself and who you are. People constantly tell me that I'm bubbly, I'm goofy, um, smart, intellect, um, create very open-minded. So I would say I am inspiring others. with my light working abilities. Like I said, it has to be about you, personal, positive, and it has to be present. All right, next is the heart chakra, of course. That's the fourth chakra. And basically it's like, that's the heart of forgiveness, the heart of love, loving yourself, self-love. So I love myself unconditionally unconditional i love myself unconditionally all right the throat chakra which is what this is mainly about being able to speak out being able to speak when something's wrong or when you don't like something i use my voice 
to speak my mind freely for third eye that is your sixth chakra your sixth sense that's your intuition being able to know something being able to um just know what's going to happen and that is opened up whenever the rest of these chakras are vibrating high so i know i am an asset no matter where i join all right and last chakra is the crown chakra that is understanding to be able to understand having that knowledge so you know something and then you you know something then you understand that that's that crown the being able to understand everything so i understand what goes around comes around all right so in the morning lighting my candle and i also got this candle from dollar tree for a dollar um i prefer you getting a white candle just starting off just so you know the basics of uh the candle itself just purity lightness um then i do my tarot readings i do my affirmation i thank god when i first wake up of course brush your teeth then we have the daily prayers then we have the tarot reading and then we have the whatchamacallits we have the seven chakras that we are balancing and you can put these anywhere um even if you're looking at the fridge every day you can say hey i'm gonna put this here because i know i open the fridge a lot or i'm gonna put this here because i'm beautiful in the mirror because i know that's you know it's a mirror there um so then also you can journal throughout your day um i usually write one pagers um or however much is needed um normally i would do that at the end of the night but as far as to setting your day off right with the affirmations, with the meditation, with the tarot readings, just to give you an understanding of everything going on in life and um, what exactly you need to do and how it can resonate with you and what you can do to make a change throughout your life. Um, I hope this was very helpful. Like I said, everything, even index cards you can get for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, Everything I have here that I have available, um, besides the books, you can go to the library and check them out. Everything I use to be successful as far as to starting my day off um, of within just myself, not business or anything else, just myself. Um, in my knowledge, I literally have spent less than $10 uh, with everything that I have and have used. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time on Sassy Q channel. Stay woke, awakening lotus.